is just not what's going on y'all it's your girl choice the one the only and you made the right choice by clicking this video so go ahead and make a better choice and click subscribe you already know the vibes okay i'm sitting by the window you see the wind blowing cool i'm sitting next to a dresser that was not here i just moved it because i'm moving a few things around in my room and my room is a hot mess because i was cleaning up and in the middle of cleaning up i decided to move stuff around i was cleaning up slash putting laundry away and the laundry is still folded on my bed there's some laundry still in laundry bags that i didn't fold i have to fold two more bags of laundry okay and yeah i'm just like in the middle of everything and i decided might as well bring you guys along right because hopefully i can finish this in the next hour or so and then i can do some other things so this could just be a daily vlog i hope <laughs> i always start off a vlog and then end up doing a few days but i don't think i want to do that this time this time i think i just want to do a little daily vlog or whatever the daily vlogs are just much easier to edit faster to edit and get them out but at the same time i know the weekly vlogs are it because y'all be watching those y'all be watching them long movie vlogs okay and when i be putting out hour and change vlogs they get way more views than my daily vlogs but consistency is also key so i still have to put out several different kind of vlogs and now that i'm looking up i still have some clothes that i did not take down but anyways i already moved this dresser over here which i think i'm just gonna keep it like that and my son's crib is right here but right now i'm filling up the drawer in the bottom of his crib because he had a bunch of sneakers in there that i don't think fit him anymore i'm just i think one one of them might fit him nah these these shouldn't fit either so i'm gonna get rid of all of these shoes i'm basically gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff i already went through my stuff for the most part and the amount of things that i got looked like about two bags full of stuff to get rid of i need to get rid of some more shoes and bags as well but the shoes and bags are hard to get rid of i'm telling you it's hard to get rid of some clothes too but like the shoes and bags child really hard i also have a few other things that i want to do around the house but i know last vlog i told y'all that i had to reorder this toilet seat that had the potty attached like the potty seat attached to it that i ordered it from walmart initially and i accidentally ordered the elongated version and i returned it but they haven't given me my refund back yet mm, so walmart count your days because they be blowing mine with that like they they be trying to get you until you catch on to them you got to make sure you on top of your refunds basically because they be having like different like they be having third party situations and stuff like that also another thing while i was moving around the dresser and stuff i found a plank of wood that i knew i had and i just didn't know where it was at i'd be like hiding stuff so that it's not visible but i found this plank of wood and it'll be perfect for a shelf that i want to be put on top of my closet to display my big bags not necessarily to display them but to give my big bags a place because i have like hooks on the back of my closet inside of my closet door for my bags but it's a great hooking system but i have too many big bags that sit up that are supposed to be you know not supposed to be bent out of shape so i would like a nice shelf up there just to put my bags on <laughs> i found the perfect size and everything 
that I already had to put it up there. So since I live in New York, a lot of people know that it's normally really like small spaces. Honestly, my place is not small, but we do have a lot of stuff, like a lot, a lot of stuff. And I just feel like I'm always like finding little hacks not necessarily hacks but just like I find ways to hide things because we have a lot of like hazard hazardous stuff basically like okay so my son's crib or bed because it's not necessarily a crib anymore it's like a toddler bed now because we took off the front which is crazy how that changes into a whole nother name right but my my son's toddler bed it's a four stage bed basically so it was a crib now it's a toddler bed it can transition to a queen size bed and then it can transition to something else. oh it has shelves that was on the side that we took off too. But these that I'm wiping off, I keep these in the drawer underneath his bed because these were from the shelves that we took off. But the drawer does not go all the way to the back of the bed. So it's basically like half of the bed. The size of the drawer is so tiny. So the other half of the bottom of the crib is literally empty and exposed. So it's like storage for like underneath your bed so i put his play yard back there i think i showed y'all that in another video a long time ago um when i first did it it's a perfect spot for it that's where you put something that you're not gonna go back to the point is i find places for storage everywhere like we have a pool table that folds it's foldable so we have that behind our tv stand so it's like we have a bunch of hidden stuff I say all that to say, if you live in New York, nine times out of 10, you have to find those things to do if you wanna live in a decluttered looking space because it's like, whoa, it's too much. It's two, three, four, five, six much. Like, wait. uh oh, there's something wrong with this drawer because I keep putting it on the track and it keeps falling off the track. So what is wrong with it? See? It's this side. It's like, I, it easily goes right back on track, but it's like, it still keeps going down. So I have to tell Dolly. I don't know. But, do y'all think this is like an awkward positioning before I like clean this off? Because like, I still have to like fix the dresser. I just do stuff on there. But, it's like facing the crib. But it opens all the way. The drawers open all the way. And this is my son's dresser, but obviously I put my little decor on top, which you'll see when I'm done again <laughs> because everything is on there. Do y'all think that's a bit weird to have it facing there? But I think it's kind of okay because once you walk in the room, you can see it straight on. But there's like no other way for me to put the crib. Well, I can put the crib right here, but... I kind of don't want to. I want the TV to stay right there because it's already like the router is plugged up over there and stuff like I don't feel like doing that much, taking, moving that much around. But the TV will be fine here too. Maybe I'll do that another time. But right now, this, it wasn't even meant for me to do all of this. So I'm really not going to do that. I'm not. I think I'm just going to move my son's sneakers like right here. You see, I do things like this. You see, there's a gap behind the dresser because the radiator is on the bottom of the floor along almost the whole room, which causes everything to be pushed out like the dresser, like my bed on both sides. So it makes the room look way smaller than it actually is. The room is huge and we have a king size bed. So the room is huge. The place is huge all together, but it pushes everything out so it just makes it look a little bit smaller than it actually is so um behind 
this dresser i think i'm gonna put my son's shoes right now they're on the side of my bed and he keeps knocking them all over and i have a bunch of his shoes that i have to put back away anyway so while i'm doing that i might as well just move them into a hidden spot where they could be stacked all in one stack instead of three stacks over here all right y'all so i ended up doing two rows because if i would have kept going with one row would have went all the way up to the ceiling child but it's okay because it's organized by brand and size so if i know what brand i want i can move the nikes to get timberlands or something like that but since it's also in size the ones all the way in the bottom and the back are all too big for him right now so yeah and he's about to grow out of the sevens anyway so yeah he's gonna just wear these as much as possible and i cannot find the box for these and then these <laughs> these have powder on them but these he can't fit and i cannot find these vans i haven't found them for months and they're seven so he's about to grow out of them anyway so these are all gonna go these don't have a box so they're gonna go under his crib in that drawer so that's that but i'm definitely gonna try to hide these two boxes are peeking obviously it's still a mess up here but i have like a picture frame that is gonna go in front of it so i'm gonna hide that but yeah let's continue okay so i'm not done i have a lot more to do but i'm gonna take a break because i thought about <laughs> child i am so impulsive yesterday i made banana pudding and it did not set so lo and behold since i used almond milk apparently you're supposed to use less almond milk normally you're supposed to use whole milk and i don't use whole milk or drink whole milk which is kind of confusing because the last time i made it i believe i made it with almond milk but I think I eyeballed the amount of milk because I slowly poured it and whisked it at the same time. You okay? I'm okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to fix that and then I'll come back to this. I want that to be done um, by the time Darwin gets home because he said he was craving it, which is why I made it. So let me show y'all how the banana pudding looks. Honestly, it looks beautiful, <laughs> but yeah okay see when i move yeah it's not set <laughs> i have the same exact pan that i used obviously these are still hard so i can use those but i was thinking i'm about to google it because can i just like try to fix the same batter like i don't want everything to be mushy but that's how darwin likes it he likes it like all soft i like a crunch so that's why i put the the crunchy ones on top sometimes i crush them and sprinkle them on top so let me see can i fix an unset pudding batter unset i said unset unsettling what flour okay so i don't think i'm gonna do that but what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up the pudding that i have and put uh like make a, another batter i guess and hope that it can fix this one what it is oh no wonder it's heavy did i order two bags oh heavy me I, not really whoever's no i couldn't hear you but i can hear you now why are you going upside down <laughs> he said why are you going upside down can i get a read 
y'all look at my avocado plant this leaf is od big <laughs> but he is thriving okay but i think these are like curved like that maybe i overfed him i don't know maybe maybe not all right yeah so update on my room <laughs> i'm almost done but it's already nighttime. all i really have to do is finish clearing off my bag this bag is literally a bag of fanny packs i told y'all i got that toilet seat so i'm gonna show y'all that and i also got this little gadget for my son's stroller it's really for me but my son's quick and easy stroller doesn't have a cup holder it doesn't have nothing it's just like you plop it open it's a square and you plop it open the hood for it like the flip the shade thingy first of all it doesn't even block the sun for him really so i just leave it back and i use it as a pocket to put stuff in so what i got was some attachable clamp cup holder phone holder situation i haven't tested it out yet i haven't went outside with it because i just opened it today but it's cute so let me go ahead and just clean off my bed real quick so i can go put that toilet seat on I got me a little mini plate real quick, some rice and beans. I got some white rice over here and then some yellow rice over here. So I'm gonna eat this real quick. I want it to be piping hot, so I'm gonna put it in the microwave for a minute. <laughs> I don't know how y'all grew up, but apparently, if you like your food piping hot, you a little, the R word, you know? But I don't care, I could be the R word, not that R word. Let me quickly show y'all how this toilet seat looks. <sighs> this is my first time looking at it too. Please don't be elongated. Please don't be elongated. I read it 37 for the second time. It looks around to me. I was thinking about getting a black one because like I have black details in my bathroom, but inside you can see that there's a toddler seat. But to tell my husband to come do this because honestly, <laughs> I'm not. Okay, here's the toilet seat 6000. My son just tried it and it was clean. It worked. But the whole thing is magnetic. So the toddler seat is magnetic like I told y'all. So once you open it, the toddler seat is going to be up. So he has to put it down so he won't fall through. $40 well spent. The moment of truth. That one's about to try some banana pudding. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh Lord, let this be good. This broken plate is getting a lot of love today. You gonna be fighting, my boy? I'm not gonna fight. That's banana? Yeah. Oh, now you want to smell it. <laughs> yeah. Uneat it. <laughs> now do you want to smell this big, the big spoon? You want to smell it? No. I smell the banana. Yeah, smell it. It's, it's on a, there. It's on there. It's on there. Mommy, ah! I want to scoop it. Wait, no. Daddy scoop it. Daddy scoop it. Yes, daddy scoop it. Okay. Pick uh... mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> you like it, Iris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Daddy gotta be kidding us, huh? <laughs> okay. Daddy's, Daddy's really funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really funny? Yeah. 
Alright, mommy got to taste it too. Mommy's not going to taste it. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste it. You already tasted it. Yo, Thursday. Mm. Really yummy. Mm. Really yummy. <laughs> My nose. Uh, mm-hmm. That's good now. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, buddy. That good. All right now. Let me give me a piece. Try more. Wanna try more? My camera died. Let's I mean, try. my camera ran out of storage. Let's so. Try. All right, y'all. So my room is pretty cozy again. <laughs> back to normal but not so much because i switched things around my son's crib was over there like with these decals on top but i moved the dresser over and this is how it's looking on top i don't know what to do with this but the lower vase are pretty much displayed because it matched with those leaves that's poking out of the vase and i gravitate towards those a lot so i leave them on the dresser same with these scents i gravitate to so i have them there so his bed is made again because <laughs> i just fixed it up a little bit after he came in here jumping up and down on it but yeah it's basically a toddler bed and we could just lift these latches right here one over here and one over here to drop this down and he can get in like that but he's he's big so he doesn't even get in like that he just slides right in through there and slides out through there and then underneath here he has a drawer where there's just like some extra stuff those hats are really dusty because they don't fit i'm just keeping them for keepsake and then he has like his crocs and his little beach shoes that are in there that don't have a box just a few little things in there and this is still his clean laundry that i gotta put away so yeah because all the laundry is in fact clean i got this little stuffed animal bin there at night i like to use this one it lights up with stars and stuff and it has like lullabies my mom got it for him from amazon it's really cute and it comes in handy it really works well Ooh, child can't wait to lay down after my shower and over here is his dirty clothes actually over there would be our dirty clothes uh me and darwin but we don't have any dirty clothes literally everything is clean i put his hamper over here because it's little and it doesn't look so little because it's just big stuff, stuffies or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, a box of Pampers that I need to give away, whoever needs it. And then just this unit right here where my TV is on. I got my diffuser, you know. Oh, and that's the piece of wood that's going to go up there that I showed y'all earlier. I just put it over there so that I won't forget to tell my husband to... <laughs> put it up that's our room it looks way smaller than it used to because now we have a king size instead of a queen but it's still very much big and we don't watch this tv in here so yeah we don't watch tv here but i'm about to i'm honestly about to i'm about to put something on this tv and um i'm probably gonna go get my laptop and edit in here while I drink me some wine after my shower. So I'm gonna get in the shower, pour me a glass of wine. First of all, let me take my bottle out the freezer. <laughs> Come in here, lay down and edit on my bed and turn on some TV, a YouTube video, whatever, play in the background. Nice little cozy nightcap. So thank y'all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. See y'all in my next video.